My name is Janine Knight and I am a virtual content specialist for students with disabilities, science grades K through two. This presentation is going to discuss front-loading vocabulary for grade one, unit four, sun, moon, and stars, day 105. Introduction. Scaffolding is breaking up learning into chunks and providing a tool or structure with each chunk. When scaffolding for reading science content, we will discuss key vocabulary prior to the lesson. Vocabulary is the glue that holds stories, ideas, and content together, making comprehension accessible for children. Rupley, Logan, and Nichols. Vocabulary skills directly influence comprehension as knowledge of word meaning and usage is critical for understanding text. Students with disabilities often have limited vocabulary knowledge. They learn vocabulary best when they are shown graphic depictions for remembering new words. Objective, front-loading vocabulary acts as scaffolding and helps students comprehend what they read. We will be front-loading vocabulary for grade one, unit four, day 105, sun, moon, and stars. And the focus question is how do the sun, the moon, and stars appear to change position in the sky? I noticed that there was a word bank on the wrap-up slide, which is obviously the last part of the lesson. So I took this vocabulary and I brought it to the front and I created an interactive activity and a word wall to help continue to support students with comprehension using vocabulary. A picture is worth a thousand words. So a picture always reinforces the concept. So one of the animations that we have access to, and I, all I did was opened up Google and I um, Googled Earth's revolution around the sun, GIF. And this came up on Jiffy. It's a brain pop um, GIF that was created from a brain pop video. And I captioned it. It takes 365 days for the Earth to complete one revolution around the sun. So in this lesson, the students are introduced to the concept of the Earth's rotation on its axis and revolution around the sun and how that affects the seasons and also day and daytime and nighttime. So here, let's get into the words to know for this lesson. And I created a Google Jamboard. Jamboard is an interactive whiteboard that is accessible through Google Meets as the whiteboard. It is also accessible through the Google Apps menu. And how we get there, I have the link right to my Jamboard, but if you wanted to start a new Jamboard, you can go to a new tab. Here's the Apps menu. And Jamboard looks like a colored in J. And this orange circle with the plus sign will allow you to begin a new Jamboard. You just click that. In the meantime, I already have my Jamboard open over here and it's missing a post-it. So over in Jamboard, we have your toolbar on the side. So in order to get these post-its, these are post-it notes. You have sticky notes, you have your select, erase, pen, images, shapes, text, and this is so cool. It's a laser pointer. So I can circle, draw, use any of the laser point pointer. So I'm gonna focus right now on this area and I'm going to click on a sticky note and I'm going to put in G H I. And you cannot really format on this because it's like as if you were quickly writing on a whiteboard or on a post it. I'm going to bring it down here, toggle the edges to make it the same size as the other ones. And I'm going to click text and add the word. 
horizon. And I, of course, I would be doing this with the students so they can see how I spell the word, how I type the word. And because there were so many words at this point, I probably would break this up into more slides so I can include images on the word wall as well. So if the kids want to go back and refer to it, they can see a, an image with the word so they know which word it is. So I'm going to go to add an image, Google image search, and I'm going to put in horizon. And as you can see, I really want to get a good picture. I actually like this one to where the earth's surface meets the sky and creates the horizon line that they could see. And I would talk about this image with them and discuss this image with them and let them have conversations about the word together in a, some, some quick routine. And then I would have them go off with a buddy in pairs or in a small group or however many students I have using this um, strategy and let them talk about and interact with the pictures, the images from the lesson. lesson it's from the lesson materials as well as the video. So actually, let's move to the next one. We can see I have three pictures on each slide and then I also have sentences right from the lesson materials. So I noticed that the, these are stars drawn together. I'm not sure if I remember what it's called. This looks like the pattern of the rising and setting of the sun. And then this is that imaginary line. I wonder if we could remember what that line is. So I would encourage the students to talk about the images and strategically pair them up or put them in groups based so that they can help each other and have really nice conversations. So we have the path the sun takes in the horizon is an arc. So this looks like the path the sun is taking and it's shaped like an arc. Earth rotates on its axis. Oh, there you go. That's the name of the imaginary line. The Big Dipper contains seven stars. Now, obviously, it's the last one, but hey, it contains seven stars. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars make up the Big Dipper. So that's how I would let them interact with the vocabulary in the lesson materials so that they can have a better opportunity to understand what they are reading. Thank you so much for sharing in this experience with me. I hope you enjoyed this video.